Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor. And today I have a very special guest. She's been on our show several times because she is just such a unique person with such a exquisite background in health and beauty. And she has a lot to share. So I'm going to let you uh, talk to uh, Carrie. And Carrie Harlan is going to tell us a little about herself, what she does, and some new projects that she's doing to help people um, uniquely find their beauty within and outside. And she's going to tell you about some products that she created that are very unique and very different than any of the products that are online today and also in stores. So Carrie, why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself, what you do, and let them know what you, what's been you've been up to. Yes, thank you, Stacey. And it is always such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. And I always love talking with you and sharing information. So um, I'm an integrative health practitioner and um, looking through the lens of Ayurveda. And here in the US, there are two different levels of Ayurveda. There's the lifestyle counselor who deals mainly with nutrition. And then there's the Ayurveda practitioner and they have clinical training. So I'm at that level. I do have a graduate degree in Ayurveda as well as degrees in neuroscience and in education. And I am part of the University of Pittsburgh Center for Integrative Medicine. And here in my clinical practice, Stacey, we really focus on the science behind this system of medicine. Um, and that way we can really get the benefit of Western thought, Western technology, um, things like genetics, for example, along with that more Eastern approach of Ayurveda that says a personalized and preventative approach to medicine is definitely the way to go. And we need to get to the root cause. We can't just blindly medicate symptoms. And the, there's no one size fits all because what's right for you is not necessarily what's right for me. Right. So that's what I do in the world um, and bring that to people and change their life in, in so many ways um, with health. And people tend to come to me with the big sort of um, probably lifestyle issues that we all deal with, fatigue, insomnia, pain, autoimmune diseases, weight, um, normally too much weight. Mm -hmm. um, and those, th th these things are sort of kind of the things that we sort of normalize over time until suddenly we get a diagnosis one day and say, "Uh oh, I got to change my life. I better look at doing it a little bit different. Or people come to me because they just don't want to keep taking medication after medication, which sort of builds up over time. Yeah. So, um, so personalized medicine, yes, personalized health. That's what I do. And it kind of makes sense that, you know, it should be personalized that we're all different. We have different genetics. We have different needs. We live in different parts of the world. So what's right for you is not necessarily what's right for me. And that's what I love about what you do is that you personalize it. You know, not everybody does. A lot of people have generic products and generic, you know, programs out there, but not everything works for everybody. Everybody has a different body and we have so many different components in our body that respond differently to, than the person right next to us. So really everything should be personalized because we all operate differently from the mind to the body, to the spirit, everything, you know, operates differently. Now, um, maybe you could tell people a little about the dosha, what it is and, and how it also relates to beauty and skincare as well. Yes. So um, when we talk about the doshas in Ayurveda, that's kind of the sexy part of Ayurveda. Everybody wants to know what their dosha is. And it is important. It's not the only thing. Yes. So Ayurveda is a constitutional system of medicine that says, um, according to your constitution, um, where you live, how you eat, what you should be eating, how you exercise, um, it's different to anybody else. And if you think about genetics, it's the same thing. We know that we have a genetic blueprint that's very different to anybody else. It's unique. Well, your dosha is also unique. The combination of your doshas is also incredibly unique. Now, 5,000 years ago, when Ayurveda was, was, was first around, they didn't have the language of genetics, but the people then did understand that we could change our health outcomes by diet and lifestyle. We now know today through the field of epigenetics that we can change our genes according right. to diet and lifestyle. So what I love about Ayurveda is I see it repackaged in today's world as either circadian medicine, which won, Nobel, which won the Nobel Prize, mm -hmm. or um, genetics. And it really is Ayurveda just repackaged into a way we think today. 
So that basically says it's got to be personalized for it to work. There is no one size fits all. And we all kind of know that we absolutely sort of that, that, that rings true with us. So when I started working with my clients, they would turn around to me and Stacy and say, you know, this is great. We're working on the inside. We're working on food. We're working on nutrition. We're working on lifestyle. But, you know, I, I put skincare on my skin and I want it to be healthy and I want it to be clean and green and politically correct and all the things that skincare should be. Yes. Um, what can you recommend? So I went out there in the marketplace and it's like, nope, not that one. Nope. Yep. This one's green. This one's clean. This one is great, but it doesn't take you into account that it's summer in Florida or that you live in Australia, or it doesn't take into account how much blue light you're getting, or it doesn't take into account what you eat and drink. Right. None of it was personalized. Skincare really is built for the masses. And mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense that me, because I'm sort of in my mid sixties with, with drier skin that's aging, and I live in the Northeast, which has little humidity, humidity, I would need something very different to my sister who also perhaps has dry skin and, and needs something for aging, but she's in that humid South Carolina weather. Yes. Yeah. If we went to Ultra or Sephora, we would both pick up the same product for dry exactly. skin wrinkles. And it would probably promise all kinds of things. Um, I didn't want that. It didn't make sense for me coming from my background of personalization. So I started making products for my clients. You know, I got into my, made a little lab and I took formulation courses and I started research and started learning. And I used my knowledge of Ayurveda herbs to bring that into my skincare products. And I would make them up for my clients just one-on-one -on -one and send them out. And I would do it for uh, my retreat that I run every year. And then clients after the retreat would turn around and say, well, I want to buy some more. So I'd make up some more and then their friends would say, Hey, that's really nice. I want some. So then I found myself buying it for their friends. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not a skincare company. I don't mm. have the, experience. I can't scale up like this. It's just me in my, in my sort of kitchen. Um, there had to come a point where it was more than what I could handle. And not just in, in terms of time and energy, it was, I didn't, I'm not a chemist. I didn't right. know how to formulate things that would last a long period of time because clients were now saying, well, I need it to last longer than a month. So what preservatives can you put into it? And I wanted to put clean things in. So that kind of knowledge I just didn't have. So I partnered with um, a lab called Botanical Sciences that I really, really like because they have the same philosophy as me. Mm. There is no one size fits all. And they have access to botanicals from around the world. And they have the lab, they have the chemists, they have the researchers. So I went in with my formulations and said, it's really important that it's still Ayurveda inspired. We still want to use those Ayurveda herbs. And it's really important that it does what it says it does. Right. Um, and it's really important that we use some of the world's best botanicals, but it's also important that it's scientifically tested. I don't yeah. just want to throw, you know, seeds and twigs and flowers at people, uh, <laughs> which you see a lot of without the knowledge that those, those, you know, are, are really important and they work in skincare. Yeah. So that's where we are now. So we um, partnered with this lab and then how do we find out what you need as opposed to what I need? Because it right. doesn't just want products on the shelf that somebody says, you know, can I just choose that one? Yes. I want it to make it right for you. So we actually designed this phenomenal AI um, assessment that you can take through my website that takes into account over 5,000 different data points. And we ask all kinds of questions. We ask how much sleep you get, how much sun do you get? Those are the obvious ones, but they're yeah. not so obvious. How much blue light do you get? How much screen time do you get? Right. Um, because that affects skin integrity. What is your age? That kind of makes sense. Hormonal levels, what other products, what medications are you on that might be affecting your skin? Where you live, what season you're in, because it kind of makes sense that right. what our skin needs in winter is not yes. necessarily what it should have in the summertime. Right. So, and I could go on and on, but we ask so many questions that we can then pull the ingredients that would be right for you based on the answers you've given us. 
then we can formulate those ingredients that are right just for you. And we launched that about six weeks ago. So we're very, very excited to see how that's going and how people are loving it. And we've had some phenomenal response. Well, I, I happen to love it. I actually, ha- I brought them here so I to show it. You had yeah, I have mine too. <laughs> <laughs> you had sent me the cleanser. You had sent me yeah. the cleanser. And I love the cleanser because it has a very clean smell to it. You know, some of these cleansers that you use are either very alcoholic smelled or yeah. they're very um, perfume scented. And those two things are not very good for you. And even just the, the having the, the, the amount of alcohol and the, the, the things that they put in just to give you a clean face actually dries out your face and it doesn't moisturize it unless they put a generic moisturizer. And some of those are not good for your body. And some of those actually have ingredients that could be cancerous to the body. Yeah. That was very, very important to me when I first started off. I mean, I'm sort of making the assumption that skincare should be clean, okay? Um, Which means it has no synthetic fragrances, parabens, all those things, carcinogenic. It can't be tested on animals. It was also important for me that um, these were recyclable because I didn't want to add to um, our environmental problems. I love that. Yep, that was really important too. And it was really important that not just the formulas were correct, but that the ingredients that went into those formulas were of really high quality. And there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Um, Some, I mean, we, we can talk about sort of, you know, synthetic fragrances and things like that. And it's obvious that those shouldn't be in skincare, but we don't really talk about the quality of those botanicals or the that go in there they have to be organic they have to be cold pressed or steam distilled there is there's so much that goes into this besides just let's throw some creams together and some essential oils and then you've got it um so it was very very important that the quality of the ingredients were really top notch and that again that's why i partnered with this one company because they don't work with everybody in fact i had to um interview to work with them mm-hmm. so that was really interesting and make sure that we were aligned and they were aligned because they didn't want my name going out with their name behind it right if and and having complaints so it, they really wanted to make sure that it was personalized too and that's why I partnered with them because there are a lot of formulating companies out there but they're just throwing the latest thing, whether it's hyaluronic acid, whether it's vitamin C, they're just throwing that in creams and yes. saying, there you go. And it's not the best quality or it degrades very easily. So this was really important. The other thing that I like about botanical sciences is they had the science background to be able to get some of those products further in. For example, um, one of the serums, um, if, if, if you sort of test for having a vitamin C serum, which a lot of people do, vitamin C actually gets into the skin better if it's attached to gold. So our vitamin C serum Mm -hmm. um, actually has gold with it as well. Oh, wow. Yes. So that it can penetrate the skin further. I didn't know that. That's, you know, I, I, what I like too, is that, you know, there's so many products out there that, you know, you will see celebrities sponsor, then you'll see a lot of young children or even, even adults. And they will, they will run out to the stores and they will buy it and there'll be a waiting list or because they're, yes. they know that, you know, the celebrity is sponsoring it. But then if you look in the back of the ingredients, it's not that great of a quality, you know, you know, and, you know, some people have gotten in trouble, you know, because the, the products that were being advertised were not exactly what they claim to be. And, you know, so, you know, people have to realize that it's not who's sponsoring the products, it's what's in the ingredients and it's how pure it is. And that's, that's a big issue, how pure it is, because whatever goes into your pores, goes into your bloodstream, goes into your body and affects all of everything from your mind to your organs, to your blood, what in your blood, it affects everything, the circulation of blood, you know, those ingredients goes through your body and it plays a big toll on all factors of your health 
it's interesting, you know, personal care ingredients are some of the most toxic ingredients that we can use. Do you think the problem is under the sink when we look at all those cleansers and things? Yeah. Cleaning, cleaning fluids, but actually personal skincare products. If you think by the time we get up and we shower, we shampoo our hair, we put conditioner on it, we've got synthetics, um, soap, and then we put body lotion on by the time we walk out the door in the morning, if we're actually walking out the door and we're not remote, we've probably put on 120, 150 diff different personal care products. And that's before we even get to the food and taking what's in our food or taking our stuff out the dishwasher that's been um, washed in chemicals or putting yeah. our clothes on that's been washed in chemicals. So we are bombarded with a lot of chemicals and we have wonderful systems to detoxify. But if we're also then putting it on our skin directly, and you're absolutely right, Stacey, the skin being the largest organ of the body, you know, much like when we put a patch on, it's, it's a way to get things into our body as well. So whatever goes right. on our skin, goes through into our bloodstream. So really, really important what you put on your skin. Absolutely. Yeah. And the other thing I'd like to come back to what you said, that really pisses me off. The whole TikTok thing where somebody gets up there mm -hmm. and says, buy this product because I'm a celebrity. You then can't get it in Ultra or Sephora. Yeah. And, and it, later on you find it's been recalled or it's not reef safe after they said it was that sunscreen. And yes, it's just because a celebrity promoted it. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, I guess we have a responsibility as the buyer as well to do our research. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of people promoting things that aren't necessarily good for us. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I think, you know, people, we have a lot of fake information also on the internet. So people yeah. have to be really aware. They have to do their research and, and they have to understand what they're putting on their skin. And I love how it's, you know, you, you've made a big um, important factor is that people from all different areas are affected differently by the environment. So in the winter time, our skin get, tends to be drier, but if I live in Florida, I'm getting the sun all the time, you know? So, yeah. you know, that's another factor to take take into they have different levels of vitamin d probably they're not yeah. probably as, as deficient as we are but yet they are their skin is getting dried because of the sun and who knows what kind of air quality they're exposed to yeah, exactly so, or water quality it's or another water one. quality so exactly we actually ask for your zip code not because we need to pinpoint exactly your house that you live in but because we want to know what is the air quality like what's the water quality like in your area what's the air pollution like in your area right now we're in the northeast we have all the fires coming in from yeah. all the smoke coming in from the Calif um, canadian fires right um that's affecting the skin quality it oh really definitely is. definitely um, not the time to put your moisturizer on and go dashing outside because those particulates uh, are going to sort of be exposed right to the skin so um yeah where you live and that's and we don't take that into consideration. And I wouldn't no. have done before I'd got into, into Ayurveda as well. I would just take my products with me wherever I went in the world. Right. Assume that they're still going to work the same way. And they don't. And then what do we do? We say, well, those products don't work anymore. I need something new. Um, right. And it's not. It's just that you're, you're in a different place or there's been a different change in your life. Um, stress levels we ask about stress levels too yeah. I mean that plays such a huge role on oh, skin skin definitely. integrity as well yeah you know and I, I think you know people don't really take that into consideration but you know I like that you take that into consideration and and you know your assessment test I took your assessment test even mm -hmm. though you cover a lot of material it's only a couple minutes to finish the assessment test so you're not there you know all day long taking this long drawn out it's very short and sweet it gets to the point and then it comes to a conclusion and it gives you your analysis which I I loved you know it's you know it's something that you know it doesn't take long to do but yet it provides you with some much valuable information yes we think so it was very important to keep that assessment as short as we possibly can I mean you know I live in the real world too and if it takes too long it's like eh, forget this <laughs> I'll come back to it another time and then you never do um, so yes it had to be I think it, it takes you're absolutely right three to four minutes it will take but then what we do is we give you exactly what ingredients are needed for you and we show you what those ingredients look like and we talk about the benefits of those ingredients so very, very important that you know what is right for you. And then with that information, 
then, then you can just get the right things for you and know that you're doing the right things for you. And that takes all the guesswork out because how many of us have gone to the altars or Sephora's in the world and you stand there thinking, oh, wow, should I buy this? It says it's going to, you know, remove every wrinkle within two days and I'm going to look great and I'm going to look 15 again. Or do I do this one because it's backed by a celebrity and do they know what about skincare or do I do this one because this one's a doctor I mean it gets very very confusing about what to get and no, it definitely do you layer does. or do you not layer and should you have night creams and should you have this and should you have that and then $300 later <laughs> you walk mm-hmm. out that store and it's like wow <laughs> yeah and and a lot of times a lot of them don't even work that great you know and uh, I've found that sometimes it's the ones that are most reasonably priced and it's the ones that are um, the purest and the cleanest that actually work the best. And And there are um, ingredients are designed to work together. So that was very important. That's why we put together a skincare system Mm -hmm. rather than just, well, here's our cleanse or, you know, personalized cleanse or or just a personalized serum. We put the system together, which includes the, um, the cleanser, the moisturizer and the serum, because that's the basis. That's what everybody should have. Yes. Um, You don't need any more. Let's minimize skincare. You do not need 50 million products in your bathroom. Um, but ours, ours are designed to work together. So if you're having vitamin C in your products and maybe you also need um, biofermented algae because you've got sensitive skin, then we want those to work together. And there are a lot of products that don't work together. Yeah, so yeah. that's why it's nice to have a system that you know has been formulated to work together. And that was important for us too. Yeah. And I, I like that your products are very reasonably priced and I like, you know, and as I started work using them, I did notice an improvement in my skin, which was wonderful, you know, yes. and, uh, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I used also, I used the moisturizer and I also used the facial serum and, you know, I also noticed because I am, I'm in the New York area and New Jersey area, and we've had a lot of exposure to bad air quality since the fires. And I've noticed that my skin has gotten even drier since then, yes. you know, so between the summertime now starting to impact us a little and the yeah. air quality outside is, you know, they, they said, if you have, you have sensitive, anything sensitive, yeah you know, to stay inside the house, if you know, you have any medical problems and any sensitivities to certain things, you know, it's better to stay in the house. So, but you know, I've noticed definitely that my skin has changed, you know, and I liked that I liked your, um, your facial cleanser, because when I used it, it went on so gently, it went on so nicely, it had a very nice, you know, slight smell to it, like I told mm-hmm. you, it was a very clean smell. And it and it worked, you know, it's, it, I didn't have to scrub my skin with, you know, either Noxema or an alcohol yeah. wipe or, you know, yeah. and, and it just came off so nicely, the makeup. And then, you know, the moisturizer and, and the serum worked so nice also. And that also had that clean, soft smell to it. And yeah. it, it and it absorbs so nicely in your skin. And I like the moisturizer because it didn't leave that greasy, um, you know, uh, feeling. I don't know if you've w- used moisturizers in the past, but I've used moisturizers in the past, especially night ones too. And they left me with like a greasy feel, you yeah. know, to my skin. And that, to me, that's very uncomfortable because when I go to bed, I want to feel clean. I just want to have something light on a, a light nightgown. I want my face to feel clean. And that greasy feel used to irritate me when I would find a product and I didn't know that it was going to leave that, you know, but you know, your moisturizer doesn't leave that and neither does the serum. The serum absorbs very nicely right into the skin. And you do notice a difference, you know, my skin was much more moisture, you know, you know, especially like I know I could tell because like, I'll put my hand around here, this area. Mm -hmm. And if I could feel the flakiness right here, I know Mm -hmm. that my skin is dry. Like I could feel my skin is dry, but the, the area that it gets the most affected is my forehead area. So that's when I know the rest of, or if I use a 10 times mirror and then you could actually (laughs) see everything, everything (laughs) (laughs) then you know that your, your skin is dry. But, you know, it, it definitely, you know, improved the quality of my skin and improved the moisture. And it definitely took away that dryness that I was experiencing. And that's what we found that within a month, I mean, give it a month because nothing happened, nothing yeah. worked overnight. 
um, unless you're going for surgery and even that doesn't always. So right. give it a month. And we've said to our clients, you know, or anybody, anybody who buys it, if you're not happy with it, if this isn't what you want, and it has not made a difference, then we will fully refund everything. No questions asked. It doesn't matter um, because we, we stand by it. I mean, it was very important that we create a skincare line that had integrity, which meant yes. we use it as well. I mean, here's mine right here because I'm using it. Um, if I don't use it, if I can't talk about it, it then, right. then what am I doing? So it was very, very important. And what we're hearing actually is a lot what you said. Um, there is a difference. And isn't it nice that the moisturizer isn't greasy? I've heard that so much. And if you think about it, we're in summertime. So we don't want our moisturizer to be, to be too heavy in the summertime. Otherwise, yeah. it ends up with really clogged pores. Now, come wintertime, when you sort of take the assessment again because it will have changed for the season so you want right. to reformulate in the winter then maybe you'll have a slightly heavier moisturizer because you'll need that because the air will be drier but yeah this time of year we don't need those very heavy um, oil-based moisturizers not this time of year so it will change state Stacy as you do it at different times right and it should change shouldn't it Yes, it should change. And I think people have to know that as the seasons change, you should reassess yourself and you should get, find out what your skin really needs because it is going to change as each season comes about because the air quality, the temperature is going to be different. Everything is going to going to change around you. You'll notice that, you know, your immune system goes up and down during the yeah. certain seasons. You know, you'll notice that, you know, the outside, the wind, the air, everything, you know, changes, the temperature changes. So of course your skin's going to be affected all by this. And we also change the way we eat. I don't yes. think people realize, but we do change yes. We eat differently according to the different seasons. Yes. So that yes. takes an effect also. So people Absolutely. have to realize, you know, yes. so it's good to get assessed every season and see what your skin really needs. If you're really serious about your skin and you really want to look good and you really want to try to keep that youthfulness as long as you possibly can and protect your skin, then you really should, you know, you know, figure out what your skin needs on a consistent basis. And, you know, checking it every season, I think is a great idea. And I love, you know, that you could easily just go onto your website and take it. And I like the name uniquely yours because it, it's, you know, because it is, it's unique. It's just for you. It's personalized just for you. And that's what I love about it. Yeah, it took us a while to come up with a good name because that's always the, the thing, you know, what name will people resonate with? And we hope that they would resonate with that to exactly describe what you said, that it's unique, it's yours, it's not, it's not your girlfriends, it's not your, your daughters, it's yours. So don't swap it out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but th yes, and, and that kind of makes sense. You know, we personalize so much now. Um, that it does make sense that we should personalize our skincare as well and that it will change not necessarily just according to season but you know maybe you move I mean I, I have a lot of clients who will go down south for the winter well they're going to need different skincare yeah know? their winter skincare is not going to work as well down south so they'll probably need a different formula formula for when they're down south and when they're up north or if you're traveling if you're doing a lot of air travel that's another question we ask how much traveling do you do that's going to dry your skin out right so, uh, once we have the information then we can put together these phenomenal ingredients that are just right for you and then sort of just package it into your very minimalist what do you need you just need a, a, a cleanser obviously a moisturizer and a serum and I've had people say well where's the night cream it's like you don't necessarily need a night cream right um, where's the eye cream and and I want to say this is the beauty industry that's a multi-billion dollar industry keeping you interested in buying more and more products right um this is the basics this is all you want you need if you want to add more that's great um the only other thing that we'll sometimes recommend if you're assessment as you go through suggests a treatment then we will recommend that as well and for some it may be a mask if you have very sort of um, acne prone skin mm -hmm. then it would make sense that um, a mask an exfoliating mask two or three times a week depending on the season right um, maybe it's a retinol a natural retinol that's needed 
um, depending on what you need again. So there are different treatments. You know, I've got a lot of clients with rosacea or psoriasis, um, eczema, then they need something that's very, very calming and cooling to their skin. So we re may recommend a treatment and say, hey, this is the basis, but you can also get this because you do have eczema or you do have psoriasis. So there's specialized treatments that sometimes we'll recommend depending on what you need. Everybody's different. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Now, where can people find your, your skincare products? Yeah. So go to the website, theholistichighway.com. You have to put the in the holistic highway, um, dot com, And then you'll see right on that homepage, take the skincare assessment and that'll take you right there. If anybody gets confused that they're, they're welcome to email me, Kerry, K-E-R-R-Y at theholistichighway.com. Um, but yeah, my website, and you can put that link in for people to get to it. Yeah. And if people have questions also, you know, feel free to, you know, uh, address Carrie, because, you know, you know, a lot of people probably have a lot of different questions too, as where they're listening to this, you know, about their own personal skincare and what their, sure. their skin needs. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, like you said, it's a billion dollar industry, but it, it can be very, it's, it's much simpler than, than, yeah. you know, it, uh, than it can, you know, that, it, 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 you know, because in, in this industry, there's so many different products for everything and mm -hmm. it can get very confusing. Like we talked about That's it. You yeah, know? absolutely. I've got confused and I, and I consider myself pretty educated, but I'll walk into some of these stores. And it's like, I don't know, you know, this yeah. looks good. That promises this, this promises me that I'm going to get $50,000 in two weeks. You know, <laughs> I, <get that> one. <laughs> I mean, they promise the world, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> And, and know, we didn't it, want to do that. We're not promising that because one of the reasons that we um, give the gift of a VIP club as soon as anybody buys our uh, skincare system is because we wanted to give the overall health aspect of it. If we change our skincare in the season, well, we also change our foods. We have different gut fat, different gut microbiomes in each yes. season our neurotransmitters change it seasonally so we wanted to address that too so that really healthy glowing skin that's full of vitality takes into account those so while we're working on the outside in let's also work on the inside out so we give away sort of food guides for the season we do a Q&A because there are always questions so I do a live Q&A for anybody who's in our VIP club um, we also give away seasonal booklets that sort of talk about the season, what's the right exercise for this season, um, what are the right lifestyle things to do this season. Um, so you, you can feel pretty confident that you're doing the right things for you, both inside out and outside in. So we wanted to give that. We wanted to take it back to skin health is yeah. also everyday health it right. really is your skin reflects you your skin reflects how you feel on the inside out what's going on so you're not going to have skin health if there's not general health as well so uh, we wanted to address that that was very important for us as well yeah and i feel in in you know all those articles in the vip program they're very beneficial and they they do teach you a lot of things that you don't realize you know and even myself being well educated in the health industry i've learned quite a few things through the vip you know program that you offer mm -hmm. and i think it's very beneficial as well yeah and we give that as a gift we didn't want to charge for it you know many we looked at what other companies are doing many of them put you in a vip club if you purchase so much or if you are an influencer or a referrer and we didn't want to it's like we wanted to give this out to everybody because skin health and personal health I mean it just goes hand in hand so uh yeah that's that's what we chose to do well, I think this is great. And I think it's going to do spectacular. And I, I wish you the best of luck. So once again, tell everybody the name and tell them where they can find it. Yeah. So the skincare is called Uniquely Yours. Um, my name is Kerry. Uh, the company is The Holistic Highway. You can take the skincare assessment at our homepage. As soon as you go there, theholistichighway.com, just type that in. And uh, click on the skincare assessment, it takes about three to four minutes. And then 
you'll then see which ingredients are going to be best for you based upon what you gave us in that skincare assessment. You'll have the option to purchase that. We've kept it at a low price. It's $129.99 for the full set. We didn't want it to be, you know, too expensive for people. So we tried to keep it at a cost that would be reasonable with right. the idea that you're probably going to change every season. And we thought, you know, if this could last six weeks to a couple of months, then, you know, we're on par with, with making it reasonable for people. We didn't want people, I don't believe that skincare has to be expensive for it to right. work. So that was important for us to do. So yeah, find us on my homepage, theholistichighway.com. Well, Karen, one word, holistic highway. <laughs> I, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for coming on and good luck with uniquely yours. It's an excellent product. I've been using it and I love it. It's, it's definitely, I, I, I recommend it because I, I, I've been getting a lot of benefits out of it and less dry skin and just the, the benefits of all the, all the, uh, uh, all the products, you know, they will all work as one. So it's, it's really, it's, you know, having those three products is, is a great resource and a great way to keep your skin in, in tip top shape. So I, I love it personally. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stacey. And thank you for trying it. Oh, you're very welcome. You have a great day. You too, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.